car steering pump failure caused us to wreck in round one of Orlando, we had a lot of work to do in the week before round two of Road Atlanta. After a couple trips to Sanford King Body and the help of Billy Mitchell, we got the car pretty much fixed, or at least close enough to be a race car and aligned to drift. When we arrived at Road Atlanta, I knew that we at least had a working power steering pump. We had thrown the car around at OSW just a little bit to make sure it was working before loading the car and heading to Atlanta. Our first practice session didn't go too bad. Our, my first run was probably one of my best runs of the weekend. We only got two runs in that first practice session. The second practice session is when I really started noticing some issues. The steering shaft already went between runners two and three of the exhaust manifold, and it was pretty tight fit. But we found that because of a little bit of a tweak in the firewall, it messed up the angle of the steering shaft a little bit, now causing it to rub. But right before qualifying, we decided to pull out of line and file down the steering shaft to try and clearance it. My first qualifying run, I decided to take it kind of easy. I wanted to make sure I felt out the steering. Because it was rubbing and feeling notchy, it, I was having to fight the car. My first run was just to put down a score. I wanted to make sure that I had at least a score on the board, even for the safety. After my first qualifying run, it started pouring, which meant we get a wet track for our second qualifying run. Fortunately, we were given sight locks beforehand to fill out the track because the conditions Going into my second qualifying run, I was pretty confident that I would be able to put down a pretty decent score. Heading down the hill, I go to grab my handbrake, and it goes all the way up. There's absolutely no pressure when I go to enter. So I sat there pulling a couple times trying to pump it and get the car sideways, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get the car sideways until after the final initiation. Even though I entered after that last initiation point, my run was actually pretty good for a wet lap. And I think that if I had just initiated a little bit earlier, I would have had a really good score. Even though Orlando and Atlanta did not go as planned, it actually went pretty rough. We're pretty confident that we can get everything worked out for St. Louis, and we can't wait to see you there.